couple of little towels, some fabric, pins, cutting tools, measuring tools, and let's see what we're going to make. So these pretty towels are from Italy, uh, but they can be found also in Joanne's. So I have a small one and a little bit of a bigger one. So they have a little spot where you can embroider or cross stitch, but we are not going to do uh, either for today. But stay tuned because we might do that too for another towel. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to I want to I want to add this beautiful butterfly fabric because I have butterfly frames in my powder room and I just want to spruce it up a little bit for summer. Plus, I'm having a really hard time finding pretty towels. Just saying. So this fabric, everything I'm using is from Joanne's. Um, I would love it if you guys used my affiliate link. It helps me a little bit to keep uh, making more video tutorials. It is a non-directional fabric, so it doesn't matter which way we put it. The butterflies are going in all different directions. This fabric is beautiful. The colors are gorgeous, and there is a lot of green coming out of it. That's why I picked um, the green towels. And I'm going to use this pretty bright yellow because it is summer, and I like yellow. <laughs> <laughs> so pins and cutting tools you can also use scissors if you want and I love to use my uh, wood measuring stick to cut my little squares but we'll go over everything so first thing I'm going to do is we are going to measure the width and the length of the border that we want to add to our towel and we're going to go ahead and measure. I leave a very generous seam allowance. I leave one inch on either side. Um, I prefer to do it that way, especially with the kind of pattern that I'm going to be using today. I want to make sure that all my fabric is um, long enough when I go and stitch all the pieces together. And I'm leaving an inch for um, extra on each side for the length as well. And you guys, at any point, if you have any questions, please make sure that you let me know in the comments so that, you know, we can help you keep creating beautiful things. And make sure you subscribe to my channel so I can keep bringing you guys all these amazing DIYs. And we do lots of them. So now I'm going to just measure up a little bit, bring my fabric down so it's um, right facing up, and I'm going to start pinning the border of my pretty border, <laughs> the edge of my pretty border, and I'm going to do the same at the bottom. Once you see the steps, it is up to you whether or not you want to pin the bottom of the border. You might not need to, but I prefer to show all the little steps um, for all the different um, sewing levels. And I am bringing the fabric under to close off my raw edges of my pretty border. And I did make sure to press my fabric um, before using it so that when we go sew it, it's all nice and straight, nice and even, and all pretty with the pretty butterflies. So it's ready, but now we are going to add another little touch, which you don't have to, um, but I'm making squares. And for this size towel, I did four inch by four inch square. You can also buy the squares already cut from Joann's, um, but I have so much fabric that I just didn't feel it necessary to go out um, and buy just the squares.
For the smaller towel, we're going to do and repeat the same exact steps, except the squares are going to be three inch by three inch. I made them a little smaller. So for this towel, the bigger one, we are going to use um, five of the squares. We are going to fold our square in half to make a triangle. And yes, I'm leaving the raw edges because I will be adding on a um, rick rack. You can add a different trim, whatever you prefer. I just wanted to do something fun. So I left the um, raw edges of the triangle not sewed in. I tried to see if I liked to uh, do one of the squares with the butterfly fabric, but it just didn't look right. You guys, the, the patterns, the butterfly on the square didn't match with the butterfly on the border. And it just, it didn't look right. So we're just going to stick with the yellow. <laughs> and I'm also changing my kitchen over for summer. I'm doing all lemon decor. So we're going to keep on carrying on the yellow and the green into my um, small powder room. And if you want to see how we are decorating our kitchen, come on over and visit us on our Facebook page. And we're going to keep folding our pretty little um, triangles. And this is why I was saying before, you don't need to pin the bottom border. You can just wait until you insert your triangles and then pin everything together. But if you want to make sure that all of your fabrics are in place and everything, and I'm also making sure that the bottom of the triangles are all even as I'm going across. Now, once I placed, you won't see it from the video, but once I placed all my little triangles, um, it did take a little bit, a couple of minutes. I just adjusted the sizes of the triangles, making sure that they were even on all the sides and the center was in the center of my towel. See, I didn't like how that was folded, so I took it out and redid it. And I guess I will be going to Joanne's to get myself a new rollery cutter because that one was not doing a good job today. Or maybe I'll just change the blade. <laughs> and there we go. Make sure that the points of the triangles are all even. Now I'm going to add this adorable yellow rickrack and you guys skip this step. I took the time to measure it and try. Well, I also wanted to try it on, so it wasn't a total waste of time, but I ended up doing something different um, once I started sewing. But if you want to get an idea of how much you need and pre-cut it, you can definitely go ahead and do this step. All right, now the fun part at the sewing machine. So I like to start from my top border. So the top of my border, that's where I'm gonna start sewing. And make sure you check your pins 
that they are placed in the right direction. I had to switch a couple, but it's okay. I rather just always double check and triple check because I did break a few, you know, needles here and there because I didn't see my <laughs> pins. So just always be careful. Could also be dangerous if you're not wearing glasses. All right, so I'm going to use a stray stitch and start stitching. Make sure you um, do your back stitch. And I'm sewing in a little less than a quarter of an inch. And you see how I like to take my time, make sure my fabric is nice and straight, um, making sure that everything is going the right way. And now we are at the corner. I'm going to leave my needle down, lift the foot, release the foot, put it back down, and bring down the side stitch without catching onto the rick rack. Now you could just keep on sewing like that, but the bigger part of the towel will be under your arm and it will be a bit uncomfortable. Um, your seams will not lay straight. So I just rather do it this way, turn my work around and keep on going with my seams. And again, make sure you are not catching the rickrack. Um, you know, sometimes we do pin it, but then when we go sew it, it's not straight. So you don't want to have any extra lumpy rickrack anywhere. So I prefer not to catch it. Now, what you're doing is you're sewing the bottom of your border, but you're also catching the top of your triangles. So that's positioning everything in place, making sure that um, everything is secure. So once I did this step and I took a look at it, I decided that I really one, first of all, it's looking real pretty and summery and colorful. I love it, love it, love it. So I decided that, first of all, I needed to clean that little clip right there. But I also wanted to sew my triangles down because it is doubled fabric. So if I just went with the Rick Rack, I didn't want to run into the risk of not catching both layers of my fabric. And plus, I really wanted to have it nice and straight. So I decided to um, stitch them up. And the triangle part of this project, I'm sure I said it before, maybe not, I don't know. Um, it is the most... The part that you know takes a little bit most time but it is the prettiest and you guys make sure you subscribe because i already have quite a few patterns ready for fall and halloween and christmas so you want to make sure you come and check them out
nice and straight and it's coming out really pretty you guys because we did take the time to cut those squares nice and to measure everything and to lay everything down right and it definitely makes a difference when you go and work into your project that everything is cut measured and pressed i ironed everything got rid of all the wrinkles it definitely makes a huge difference Look how pretty that looks. Look at that. And in the back, I used the green thread, so you barely see it, and it looks all nice and clean. Now we're going to uh, go ahead and place our rickrack. I left about an inch, folded it behind, and started stitching like so. Always using the... Uh, straight stitch and i realized afterwards that i i wish i used um a little bit of a brighter yellow thread but it's not so noticeable so it doesn't bother me so much but make sure you match your thread so once you get to the corner um you fold it over Leave your needle down, release the presser foot, and turn your work. And just keep on zigzagging through your triangles and your pretty rickrack. And like I said, you could use any type of trim. Joanne has a beautiful selection of trims. Um, I just have this thing for yellow this year <laughs> so i wanted a nice bright cheery color and then we'll go into the sparkly fall and halloween stuff and we'll do all that pretty stuff And again, for the smaller towel, I didn't record it, but it's the same exact steps, except the squares are going to be three inches by three inches. And I only used um, four squares. On this bigger one, we used five. And again, at the end, leave that extra inch and bring it down. And look how pretty that looks already. But we're not done yet because if you know me, I always want more and then a little more. <laughs> so it's starting to look real pretty. And I decided that it was a little too plain on the top. So I added another yellow uh, rickrack. And then I went right next to it and added a green one as well it was just the finishing touch that i needed of course you want to start from the right side wrap that extra little bit behind and start sewing and it is a straight um, seam with the straight border so I didn't really need to pin I just did take my time because even though the rickrack is the same size and I started the pattern where I want it it's really never perfect so I made sure that I matched it where I wanted it to match I can't wait to show my mom. She's going to be so happy that I'm finally using these towels and displaying them. <laughs> she bought them for me so many years ago. But you have to wait for the right inspiration. You know, that's the way I am. So I'm going to put another little 
piece of, I don't know where I went, you guys, sorry. <laughs> Another little piece of rickrack on the bottom. This was such a fun project, you guys. I really, truly enjoyed because, you know, sometimes we got to fill the orders and prep for the private group and prep for this or that. But this was just something that I felt like doing something different, something fun. And it was really, truly an enjoyable project. And look at that. I truly hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe and look at that beautiful bow. You can do that too next. See you soon.